You may want to make a web page layout versatile enough to where users can move objects around. An example of this can be one comparing products on a website. To get a better comparison, users may want to place two objects side by side. One question I will answer later is this. What property is needed in addition to the position, left, and top properties in the code needed to position an element? We have some sample logo prospects for our photography equipment website. We want to place these side by side. There is a button called Move the SVG. When I click it, it moves this set of graphics alongside the canvas. Let's see how this works. In the code, on line 20, the button to move the SVG has a move SVG function attached to it. Let's find that function. The function starts on line 44. On line 45, the SVG element is stored in a variable called SVG1. That SVG element happens to be a div tag, which is holding the contents of the SVG. To start the move, the position for the SVG is set to absolute. This will allow us to set the left and top positions, which happen to be the next two lines of code. This moves that div tag to a spot 600 pixels from the left edge of the screen and zero pixels from the top edge. Note that these are all setting style properties as position, left, and top are all CSS properties, hence the need for the style property reference.